Image-based rendering algorithms render scenes directly from images. Their popularity stems from their ability to produce real-time photorealistic renderings. However, most work on image-based renderings has been restricted to static scenes due to the logistics of image capture, storage, processing, and rendering. In this paper, we describe our approach for capturing, representing, and rendering dynamic scenes from multiple points of view. Here, we show a real-time rendering result. Note that the virtual viewpoints are interactively chosen at display time. Our goal is to allow the user to interactively change the virtual camera position while viewing the video. One way to achieve this goal would be to film the scene from many different viewpoints. The user could then select between the cameras. However, a large number of cameras would be needed to reduce jumping artifacts as the user changes viewpoint. The jumping effect is even more noticeable with a smaller number of cameras. Our approach is to render high-quality virtual viewpoints by smoothly interpolating between a small number of captured videos. Our rendering system consists of offline and online components. The video capture and processing are done offline. Video processing consists of stereo computation and data compression. The dynamic scene can then be interactively viewed by selectively decompressing the data file and rendering it from novel viewpoints. Our capture system consists of eight high-resolution cameras capturing at 15 frames per second, which are synchronized and connected through a pair of concentrators to a bank of hard drives. Prior to video processing, we calibrate the cameras using a calibration grid, as shown here. This provides us the internal parameters of the cameras, as well as their relative poses. Once the videos have been captured and the cameras calibrated, we compute stereo for every frame. The stereo algorithm consists of three main steps. First, each of the eight images are segmented based on color. Next, for each segmented region, the likelihood of each disparity is estimated using an iterative algorithm. Finally, disparities are made to vary smoothly within segmented regions based on depth consistency between images. Here we show a short clip of the disparity map over time. Another key to high-quality view synthesis is the recovery of matting information. This prevents objects at different depths from appearing as cutouts in the rendered view. Alpha values are computed for all pixels within close proximity to depth discontinuities. We use the Bayesian matting approach to extract the alpha values. In our work, we propose a new representation for dynamic scenes that consists of two layers. The first layer contains all background pixels and corresponding depths. The second layer stores the thin strips of foreground color, depths, and alpha values computed by matting. Compression is used to reduce our large data sets to a manageable size and to allow fast playback from disk. We developed our own codec that makes use of both temporal and between-camera redundancy. Temporal prediction uses motion-compensated results from the preceding frame. Spatial prediction uses a reference camera's texture and disparity maps transformed into the viewpoint of a spatially adjacent camera. The differences between predicted and actual images are coded using a novel transform-based compression scheme that can simultaneously handle texture, disparity, and alpha mat data. To obtain a real-time interactivity, the overall decoding scheme is highly optimized for speed. Next, we describe the process of using the GPU to render a novel viewpoint from the compressed data. Given a novel viewpoint, the rendering program determines the two nearest cameras. The data from these two cameras is blended to create the new viewpoint. A block diagram of the rendering process is shown here. At every frame, the background depth map is used to create a dense mesh that is texture mapped with a background color map. The mesh is projected into the virtual camera's view. The foreground data is converted to a mesh in a similar way to the background. The foreground regions are sparse and thus result in a smaller mesh. The foreground mesh is projected to the virtual view and alpha blended with the background result. The data from the other nearby camera is rendered in the same way. The intermediate outputs from the two cameras are then composited by a pixel shader program to generate the final result. The composition process uses a soft depth compare that rejects occluded inputs while blending inputs that have similar depths. Here we show a typical viewing session. The user controls the viewpoint. The user may also pause the video by pressing a button. Here is the result of another interactive viewing session. Given the accurate depth and matting information computed by our system, we can manipulate the scene. For example, we can insert an object captured at a different time. Notice that the three-dimensional effect of the object is preserved. Here are some more examples of videos where we have manipulated the virtual viewpoint to create special effects or to reveal interesting action. Our hope is that virtual viewpoint video brings the dream of 3D television one step closer to reality.